Hi, it's Dwayne Kemp. I'm going to be building a table by Wilmer Chaka or Shaka and using Curve Aloft plug-in for SketchUp. I have edited out the Curve Aloft process time from this video because it just took a while and there's no reason to watch it wait. So we're looking at an x-ray view of the profiles that I've prepared. We go from x-ray to solid. There we go, we see it, and now let's begin. I'm gonna take this exterior or uh, outside face, copy, paste in place. And now I'm going to use the push-pull tool to be able to create a new asset that I can use, group it, use later to intersect with a plane I need to create, and the plane will be at an angle. Because from the bottom of the table to the top, or from the floor to the table top, it uh, angles outward. I'm gonna eyeball this. Looks a little bit more okay. But also, it's wider at one end than the other, so I'm going to angle it a little inward towards the back. And I need to intersect my push-pull piece with this face. that in place. I need to move my face now to make sure I don't catch the edges. Good. Intersect with model which creates my lines that I need in that angle. That's out of the way. Now that interior needs to be a solid so I'm going to trace just the line. Boom. Now I'm going to raise the interior outside lines And I'm going to uh, create a guideline here for a group that will be duplicated. Move this over along the green axis. We need to eyeball that a little better. Now, I don't have the actual dimensions of the table. about right. So my, yeah, my guide's a little long here, so I'm going to go in and uh, edit that guide. To the point, erase the excess. Alright, now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to duplicate it. Flip it along the green axis and use the guide to move it along center back to the probe. There we go. I'm going to take the three pieces here one, two, three. I want to slide over the duplicate process. There you go. I'm going to explode these so that I can have the lines. I'm going to erase the uh, faces. Now I need to group the exterior lines. Erase the guide. Now I've got those. I need to do the same to the interior, so I'm going to group everything. Exclude the previous group of the exterior lines. Now I've got the interior lines. Make a group. Now I've got my two sections, interior and uh, exterior. I need to create some faces here, so a line from the one point to another. Let's do it three times. One, two, and three. Create those faces deletes my lines. This is what Curve Aloft will work with. So select my faces and Curve Aloft. That's a lot faster on video than it is live. I'm going to copy, delete, paste in place. 
go to the interior. Same thing, I need to create my faces. Boom, boom, and erase. There I go, group of three, curve aloft. Boom, now I've got my interior. Copy this, paste in place, select the two, in this case I have no idea why I just drew that guideline. So I'm going to open up or explode them so that now they're open, but I need to close this exterior face. So I need to draw two lines. One. Find a point, there we go. And another point. End points, erase the lines I just created. Now I've got a face. Again. Erase the two lines. A table by Wilmer Chaka or Shaka. This morning I saw a great example of this table using the subdivide or sub D plugin for SketchUp. It's going to be lighter, a lot cleaner. It looked really good. But if you don't have sub D uh, plugin, this is a quick and dirty method using Curve Aloft.